So we will see how to generate the geometry of the bridge. For that, first we will go to nodes and elements. Click on create nodes and then click on apply. So you will find a node is generated at ordinate 000 location. Then using this node, now we will be generating the elements using this extrude button. So click on extrude button and then the material is M50 section. I am keeping it as midsection of box cutter. And scrolling down, you to click on this unequal distance over here. Keep the axis as X axis. So over here in Midas, X is the longitudinal direction, Y is transverse direction, and Z is the vertical axis. Then we need to give the distances to generate the lengths of elements. So this is the longitudinal view of the three span continuous bridge. And this is the longitudinal sectional detailing. So as per these lengths, we'll be needing the divisions of elements. So we will generate the element lengths. So I'll give the distances starting from the left end of the bridge, that is from the diaphragm location. Two at the rate 0 0.25 meters, followed by 39 at the rate 1, followed by 2 at the rate 0 0.5, followed by 44 at the rate 1, followed by 2 at the rate 0 0.5, followed by 39 at the rate 1, followed by 2 at the rate 0 0.25. Then we need to select this node, so we need to click on the select by window icon over here and then select this node. When you select this node, node number 1 will appear in the selection box. Then we need to click on apply. So these elements will be generated. So you can click on this and switch between hidden view and line view. So. Let's see in the transverse direction. So this is the box girder. So next we'll be generating nodes for the bearing top location and bottom location. So we are modeling with respect to the center top of the box girder. So this is the bearing arrangement drawing of the bridge. So you can see we need to create two nodes for the bearings, one at the top of bearing, one at the bottom of bearing. So we will be translating the support nodes from here down over here at the bearing locations. So in the transverse direction, distance for translation is 1.9 meters. So what we'll do is first we'll select all the nodes. So I'm clicking on the front view on this icon over here, and then I'm switching to line view. It is always better to do the selection in line view. So I'm switching to the line view, and then I'm zooming using this button zooming over this portion. So my aim is to select all the support nodes. So I zoom over this portion and click on this select by window button and select this node. Then I will zoom out using this button again and zoom over the next support portion. Again I will select the support node and zoom out by clicking on this button. Again I will select the third support, the third support node I'm selecting and then I zoom out and then finally towards the last support I'm zooming in and I'm selecting the last support. So you can either type the node numbers over here or you can select this way. So I've selected the four support locations. Now I'm going to translate these nodes. I'll go to nodes and elements, translate button over here, and I'll give the distance for translation in x, y, z direction. So x direction translation will be 0, y direction is going to be 1.9 meters, and z direction is going to be the depth of girder. That's 3 meters, we give in negative direction because it's being translated vertically downwards to minus 3 meters. Then I'll click on apply. So we we'll switch on the hidden view and I'll switch over to the left side view so you'll find that these nodes are generated over here. Then I will select all these nodes 
and I will go to unequal distance. Now what I am doing is I am translating these nodes to the right side. So I will translate them by y axis. So distance will be 2 times of 1.9 meters that is 3.8 meters and minus 3.8 meters rather. So you need to first select these nodes and then these node numbers will appear over here and then you need to click on apply so these nodes will get translated to the right side and then we can select all these nodes now what we'll be doing is we'll be translating them downward so this translation is going to be in z direction so i'm clicking on z and the distance will be the thickness of bearing so i'm taking 100 mm as thickness of bearing so i'm giving the distance minus 0 0.1 meters and clicking on apply so this is how we have created the nodes so you can see at all the four support locations we have created nodes for the bearings you can click on this arrow and switch to isometric view and then i will zoom over this portion intermediate support portion and zoom again and little more so what now I am trying to do is I am going to select this corner node of the bearing and I am going to create the corner node of pier cap. So I am selecting this node and I will click on translate node in y direction. So the node is selected, 145th node. I will give the distance minus 0.5. 6 meters so from the center line of bearing the edge of the pier cap lies at 0 0.6 meters when I click on apply so this is the corner node of pier cap which gets generated so now I'll select this node again and I will go to extrude button so node number 148 is selected and I'm going to create the peer cap element. So peer cap element, I'll select the properties first. M40 the section will be peer cap right section. I'll scroll down and over here, the generation will be in Y direction. So I'll select unequal distance, Y axis. And I'll give the distances over here as 0.6 comma 1.15 comma 2 at the rate 0 0.75 comma 1.15 followed by 0 0.6 meters and I'll click on apply so you'll find the switch to line view now so you'll find these are the peer cap elements which were generated so I'll just switch over to the left side view so you'll be able to see this in the left side view. So now what I'll do is I will select these two elements, element number 133 and 134. I'll go to this delete button. I'll uncheck this with free nodes option and I'll click on apply. You'll find these two peer cap elements are deleted. Peer cap will be starting from the face of the pier. Again, we will create the pier element using the central node. So I'll click on select by window button, select the central node, which is 158th node. So I'll go to extrude button and select the material for the pier as M40, section as pier section and I'll scroll down. And I'll give the distance, an equal distance in Z direction. The height of pier from the top of pier cap as minus 10 meters. And I'll click on apply. So this is the pier element which gets generated. You can click on the isometric view so you can see this. So I'll switch over to the front view now. And again, I will click on select single. I'll select this whole pier and pier cap nodes and elements. And I'll translate it to the next intermediate pier location. So I'll go to translate elements this time. And I'll give the distance 
in x direction at equal distance x direction as 45 meters I'll check on this intersect node and intersect element button so that no duplicate elements or nodes are generated towards the translated side and then I'll click on apply so you'll find this peer and peer cap elements gets translated towards right side as well after this, we'll do the renumbering operation. So you need to click on this renumber element ID. In this, we will renumber all the nodes and elements. So you need to click on nodes and elements, select all, and click on apply. So this completes the nodes and elements generation for this model.